good morning class 5 welcome to the offline class and we were doing measures of length it is chapter number 12 from composite maths and we were in exercise 55 in the last class we have completed exercise 55 uh, question number 13 14 15 16 and 17 only one question is left that is question number 18 so let us do that one i'm going to read the question you just go through it question number 18 A man covers 255 km in 6 hours on scooter at a uniform speed find his speed in km per hour now you have to find in km per hour what is the speed it is given that 6 hours that means in 6 hours he can travel 255 km then in 1 hour how much he can travel this you have to find out that means the maximum is given the more is given the minimum you have to find it out for 6 hours it is given you have to find it out for 1 hours that means you will divide it okay so let us start the question since it is the uh, word problem so you have to write the statement okay so what the statement you will write exercise 55 question number 18 uh the statement you will write that distance covered in 6 hours is equals to 255 km distance covered in 6 hours is equals to 255 km therefore distance covered in 1 hour in 1 hour is equals to 255 divided by 6 so let us divide 6 outside and 255 inside so 6 fours are 6 fours are 24 subtraction 1 and this 5 will come isn't it now 6 twos are 12 subtraction 3 then after that point 1 0 will come and 6 fives are 30 that means uh, 42.5 so our answer will be 42.5 the speed the speed of the man is 42.5 kilometer per hour the speed of the man is 42.5 kilometer per hour okay so this is the last question for exercise 55 now we will do the question bags okay now we will do the question bags which are related to length not the other uh, with mass or capacity okay the only we will do the questions which are related to length and length and when we will complete the uh, measures of capacity and cap this mass sorry measures of mass and measures of capacity when we will complete it we will do at that time that questions okay but now we will deal with the length come to question bag 1 uh, page number is 196 page number is 196 question number 1 tick the correct answer you have to give a tick mark 12 hectometer 8 decameter is equals to dash meter you have to convert into meter here it is given 12 hectometer and 8 decameter is equals to dash meter that means you have to convert it now how you will convert it in meter you have to convert in meter so just remember as we know it is starting from kilometer 
then hectometer then decameter then meter so from hectometer to decameter it is 100 meter that means one hectometer is equals to 100 meter and one decameter is equals to 10 meter so like this you will solve okay so let us start solving This is cushion bag. One. Question number one. Question number one. It is given twelve hectometer and eight decameter. 8 decameter is equals to dash meter so this two you have to convert into meter so we know that since one hectometer is equals to 100 meter and one decameter is equals to 10 meter therefore 12 hectometer and 8 decameter is equals to 12 into 100 plus 8 into 10 meter so this will give you 1200 0 plus 80 meter this will give you when you will add it is 1280 meter that means option number C option number C so everyone give a tick mark in option number C this is option C. Okay. This way you will solve and then you will give the tick mark in the option. So everyone give a tick mark in option number C. Answer is option number C. Now come to the next one. Question number two. Six decameter and sorry six decimeter and six millimeter is equals to dash millimeter. Six decimeter and six millimeter is equals to dash meter the same way you will solve this one also isn't it so as you know decimeter to millimeter so one decimeter is equals to hundred millimeter and one and the one next one is already given in uh, millimeter isn't it so that will be left as it is only the first one you will change and then you will add Okay, so let us solve second one. Second one is given 6 decimeter and 6 millimeter. So since 1 decimeter is equals to 100 millimeter, therefore 6 decimeter, 6 millimeter is equals to 6 into 100 plus 6 millimeter. This will give you? 600 plus 6 millimeter that means 606 millimeter is the answer which is option number option number b option b so everyone give a tick mark in option b everyone give a tick mark in option b okay uh, next one is for liter so we will not do it now come to question number four Come to question number four. Question number four is three kilometer is equals to dash centimeter. Now directly you will come from kilometer to centimeters. Okay. That means <coughs> sorry students. Mm, let us write number three. number 3 it is given 3 kilometer is equals to dash centimeter we will write since 1 kilometer is equals to now count it kilometer then uh, hectometer decameter meter decimeter and centimeter isn't it that means five zeros therefore three kilometer is equals to
3 into 1 and 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 zeros. That means 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Centimeter uh, is the answer. That is option number. Uh, option number? C. Option number C. It is option C. Okay. This is option number C. Yes. Now come to the next one. Number 5. 76 millimeter is equals to dash centimeters. Now you have to come from millimeter to centimeter. That means from lower units to higher units. So this way, in this case, you have to divide it. Okay. So as we know that 1 centimeter is equals to 10 millimeter. Isn't it? We know that. Question number 4. Uh, sorry, question number 5. This is question number 5. The upper one was question number 4. This is question number 4 and this is question number 5. Question number 5 is given 76 millimeter. 76 millimeter is equals to dash centimeter. Isn't it? Yes, it's equals to dash centimeter. So what you will write? Since... 10 millimeter is equals to 1 centimeter. Therefore, 76 millimeter is equals to 76 divided by 10 centimeter. That is 7.6 centimeter is the answer. That means option number option number D. Option number D. Answer is option number D. Okay. Answer is option number D. So this is for question number 5. This way you will convert from lower to higher units. Okay. That means by division. Now come to number 7. Number 7 is 2 centimeter and 2 millimeter is equals to dash meter again from lower to higher you have to come that means again you have to divide and this one you have to come to meter so let us write it this is question number seven Question number 7. Two centimeter, two centimeter and two millimeter is equals to dash meter. What you will write? That since we know that one meter equals to hundred centimeter and one uh, thousand millimeter is equals to one meter. So what will we write? Uh, since hundred centimeter is equals to one meter and thousand millimeter is equals to one meter. Therefore, two centimeter and two millimeter you have to divide it 2 centimeter by 100 and 2 millimeter also by 2 millimeter by 1000 this is in meter so this will give you Zero point zero two two. Zero point zero two two meter is the answer. That is option number A. That is option number A. So everyone give a tick mark in option number A. This th uh, this conversion first you will solve and then you will give a tick mark. Okay. So tick mark in question seven A. Seven A. 
now come to question number 9 question number 9 this is for 7 now come to question number 9 question number 9 is given 6.75 meter is equals to dash kilometer again the uh, lower to higher you have to come so that means you have to divide okay so write it down this is question number 9 6.75 meter is equals to dash kilometer 6.75 meter is equals to dash kilometer okay so what we will write since 1000 meter is equals to 1 kilometer therefore 6.75 meter is equals to 6.75 divided by 1000 which is equals to 0.0 then 675 Oh, two zeros will be there since thousand is there. Two zeros. Six seven five kilometer. Isn't it? That is option number. Option number C. option number c okay so this is the answer for option number c mm. yes now come to number 10 question number 10 question number 10 it is a word problem sumit can ride 16 km 350 m in an hour how many kilometers can he ride in 7 hours the speed is given for 1 hour you have to find it for 7 hours that means you have to multiply okay so this since it is a um, mcq question so need not to write the uh, statement okay directly you will multiply uh, 16 km 350 m into 7 let us multiply this is mcq no need to write the statement question number 10 16 km 16 km and 16 km and 350 m multiplied by 7 so let us multiply 7 0 za 0 7 5 za 35 carry 3 7 3 za 73 is a 21 22 23 24 4 carry 2 now 76 is a 42 43 44 4 carry 4 7 1 is 7 7 4 is 11 that is 114 km and 3 450 m Hundred and fourteen kilometer and four fifty meter. That means uh, option number C. It is given hundred and fourteen point four five. Since uh, zero has no value, that's why they have not mentioned. So leave it as it is. This is option number C. This one is option number C. Hundred and fourteen kilometer and four hundred fifty meter. Hundred and fourteen kilometer and four hundred fifty meter. So, this was all the questions from question bag one related to length. Okay, and uh, question bag two we will do it in our next class, and we will do that questions only which is related to length. Okay, as it is in your term two or PT two, not term two PT two. Okay, so that's all for today. Bye, all of you, and whatever we have um, done today, whatever we have. Uh, 
what questions we have done today or what conversions we have done today kindly do it once more at your home so that it will be more clear to you okay so bye all of you for today